Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by AnyTrans. With AnyTrans a data management feature, you can save your photos, your videos that are on your iOS device directly to your PC or Mac with a few simple clicks. It's very, very easy to use. They also offer a data backup management feature. This feature allows you to browse through old iTunes backups so you can rediscover old data, things like old photos that you might have forgot that you even had. These are stored within backups. You can obtain all of those. If you would like to try AnyTrans, links will be in the description down below. So in today's video, we're talking about iOS 12.1.1 the software has been released a little over three days ago and in today's video I want to share with you guys my thoughts my experience the performance test and battery test that I've ran on these devices over the last three days and overall performance so the current build number for this software is gonna be 16 C 50 now if you haven't been watching my beta coverage this software brings a few improvements to the FaceTime FaceTime application has a more streamlined easy to use interface which which was clunky before now it's a lot easier to use and more stable as well including the group facetime is now more stable as well on 12.1.1 the software also brings improvements to the lock screen of the iphone 10r which now has the peek and pop options with notifications on the lock screen that allows you to preview these by pressing on the display the haptic touch display so improvements there on the iphone 10r as well furthermore ios 12.1.1 also brings security patches and improvements to the software for those of you who are intending to jailbreak in the future may want to stay away from this software now for those of you who don't really care about jailbreaking just for the security patches alone i would highly recommend updating your ios device now in terms of performance how the devices have been performing in terms of battery well if you haven't been watching my beta coverage this software to me feels a lot smoother when it comes to scrolling through the menus to swiping through the pages and just overall browsing through the software feels a lot smoother to me let me know what you think in the comments down below but to me this software just feels like butter running on the newer devices and older devices as well so it's not just new devices here an iphone 8 also performs very very well when it comes to navigating through some of the menus no choppiness nothing to worry about here now let's go ahead and run a benchmark here because i always like to run benchmarks on my devices now let's go ahead and head on over to the geekbench application here and we're going to set up all of these devices to run a benchmark and then we'll talk about battery performance on all of these devices because i performed hours of battery test on all of these devices and i want to give you guys my results here in a few seconds but let's go ahead and run a cpu test here on all of these devices to see what the performance looks like with the latest version of iOS 12.1.1. All right, so the first one to finish here was the iPhone 7 Plus with a single core score of 3578 and 6096 on the multi-core scores. That's gonna be iPhone 7. Let's go ahead to iPhone 8 or iPhone 7 Plus, I should say. Here's the iPhone 8, 4288 and 10,743. Uh, slightly higher here of course with the newer performance uh, chip inside of this one so the increase there you can notice that right away 4817 on the single core score the iphone 10s max the monster and 11 534 multi-core score incredible scores there on the iphone 10s max and then we have the iphone 10s with 4772 and 10789 so overall great performance numbers here on all of these devices on the latest versions of iOS. Now let's talk about the, the battery on these devices. So after hours upon hours of testing, doing the time lapse that I usually do, all the consensus here is that the battery is identical to iOS 12.1 on all devices. All of these devices gave me the same results over a period of 48 hours of battery testing. So if battery was good for you on 12.1, 12.1.1 is the same so nothing to worry about in the battery department so if you have an update to ios 12 as of yet and we're hoping for a stable polished release of ios 12 12.1.1 would be the software to jump on because of the security enhancements the battery is great the features are there everything just feels very very good with this software thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace